Good day, good day once again, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we are back together. Oh, and this time we're looking at electrochemistry. I hope that you are doing well and preparing well for your chemistry exam. Right. If you haven't subscribed, please just make sure you're part of the family. And of course, uh, you know that you can always be a member in this channel so that you benefit from our valuable perks. You can go and check them out immediately uh, right now. OK, right. So let's have a look at the question that's to follow. They say we've got a piece of zinc, right, which is placed in a test tube containing an acidified permanganate solution. Right. After some time, it's found that a redox reaction has taken place. Now, what I want us to do before we even start answering the question. Um, so I want us to go and check out. Right. So if you remember, you know, I've got this, uh, um, you know, uh, number line method that I always use. Right. So if I go and check uh, the permanganate as well as the zinc uh, half reactions, OK, um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see them nicely here. Right. So I can see there is permanganate over there. So I am going to just try and highlight it. OK, uh, I don't know if I can actually do that here. All right. So right at the top there, uh, written as MnO4 minus. OK, uh, with M N uh, MN2 plus, right? So the half reaction is MnO4 minus plus 5H, no, 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 plus 8H rather, uh, 8H plus, uh, plus 5 electrons, giving us on the other side MN2 plus plus 4H2O. Okay, so that's the half reaction, right? Yeah, so there it is. Finally, it's able to do what I wanted. OK, so there it is over there. Right. And then um, looking at zinc, can you see zinc right at the bottom there? There is the half reaction. So you've got Zn2 plus plus two electrons giving you Zn. OK, and it's got a, a, a number there. Um, an E standard number of negative 0 0.76, whilst the other one has got positive 1.51. I said when you use the number line method, you always start with the smaller number, right? Uh, so this is 1.51. Right, so clearly this tells you that there will be a redox reaction that takes place, right? So that means that zinc will be oxidized. And of course, it means that, uh, um, you know, the permanganate ion will actually be reduced okay so so now um uh, in this case they asking us um to they say write down the name or the formula of the reducing agent remember the reducing agent is the one that undergoes oxidation right so what undergoes oxidation in this case Remember, under, uh, uh, oxidation is the loss of electrons. So definitely that's going to be zinc that will undergo the loss of electrons. So uh, we can say that answer, we know confidently that will be zinc. Or if you want to, you can write just the, um, they say name of formula, right? Now they say refer to the relative strengths of oxidizing agents to explain why a redox reaction has taken place, right? So um, I want you to note every time they say that, right? Look at your table. On this side, can you see? They've written there oxidizing agents, okay? And reducing agents. So when they ask you for the relative strength of oxidizing agent, uh, agents rather, so note that they increase, note that arrow, right? It's showing you that as you go upwards, they are increasing in strength, right? So if we look at those two, what does that then mean? It means the permanganate ion has a higher oxidize, uh, has a higher strength as an oxidizing agent than zinc does, right? So as a result, um, in this case, it will cause 
uh, zinc to, uh, uh, to, to, to therefore undergo oxidation, right? So because this guy has got a higher oxidizing strength, um, I mean, strength as an oxidizing agent, right? In this case, it will prefer, remember, strength as oxidizing agent means it will prefer to undergo reduction, right? So as a result, forcing zinc to undergo oxidation, okay? So we can say, well, MnO4 minus has a higher strength, uh, higher, okay, higher strength, as an oxidizing agent uh, than zinc, right? So than zinc, okay? So therefore, uh, it will cause, or rather it will tend to undergo reduction or it will undergo reduction undergo reduction reduction thereby forcing zinc to undergo oxidation oxidation and thus a redox reaction takes place right sorry that i didn't write it in a very neat manner there but i hope that you do understand right so just refer to that table there it will make things so much easier for you okay right now let's go on to the next question okay so we're going to still need that table of hours uh, so i think we might as well just uh, uh, bring it closer okay um Right, I'm just going to make some space for it there. Right, so let's take this to the bottom. Okay, right, so there we go. Okay, so now, remember ladies and gents, we are uh, looking at the redox, uh, redox reactions in this case. So they give us a standard electrochemical cell uh, that is set up uh, as shown below. Right, so we've got nickel and manganese in this case. And they say to you, write down the function of component Y. Okay, so remember that is the um, salt bridge. Okay, uh, we say, well, it's to neutralize excess ions, right? To neutralize uh, our excess ions. Or in this case, we say that it completes the circuit, right? Uh, it completes the circuit. All right. So, and they're asking us in which direction will electrons flow. Now, as I said, I always want us to first have a look at what happens there. We've got nickel and um, manganese. So there I can see manganese over there, right? And where is nickel? Um... Right, so there's nickel over there, right? So if we draw a number line uh, method again, so we know this is going to be uh, the lowest number is negative 1.18, right? That's from the manganese. And of course, the higher number is negative 0 0.27. Okay, so we know this is going to be manganese here. Okay, manganese and, of course, that would be uh, the nickel, right? So what happens in this case? We know that, uh, uh, you know, we always say uh, which party is in government. Well, that's for those who are in South Africa. Uh, that's the ANC. And what does the ANC do? It gives away houses, right? So in this case, uh, we say that uh, electrons are transferred right so manganese will transfer electrons to nickel so therefore manganese undergoes oxidation now what you do is you take the half reaction for the one that undergoes oxidation the anode so you always write it in reverse right 
So that means the half reaction will be Mn, note with one arrow, right? Giving us Mn2 plus, plus two electrons. The one that is, in this case, the cathode, you take the half reaction, you write it exactly as it appears on that table. So that's Ni2 plus, plus two electrons, and you'll say this gives us uh, nickel. Those are the two half reactions. If you wanted the net cell reaction, of course, you must make sure that the electrons are balanced, right? So those are, so in this case, you'll have Mn plus Ni2 plus, uh, uh, sorry, which gives you, note that when you know which reaction is going to take place, you only write it with one arrow, ladies and gents. And so that will give us uh, Mn2 plus, uh, and uh, so that's Ni2 plus, uh, with nickel on the other side, right? Now let's try and answer the questions. Uh, they say, in which direction will electrons flow in the external circuit, right? Choose nickel to manganese or manganese to nickel, right? Again, so that will be definitely manganese to nickel. So that is our answer. Mn2, uh, uh, actually I almost wrote an arrow there, to nickel. Right, and then they say to us, calculate the EMF of the cell, right? Uh, let's answer that at the bottom there, 8.2.4, uh, sorry, 8.2.3 rather, uh, the initial EMF. And remember, we say initial because, right? So, uh, because it will change over time, right? So, write the equation as it appears. So, we say E cathode okay minus e standard for the anode okay right so we want the emf so that would be we take the cathode so remember we said our cathode in this case cathode and this one is the anode so that's negative 0 0.27 minus a negative 1.27 uh, I think that was 1.18, yeah, that's negative 1.18, okay. Right, and by the way, ladies and gents, uh, rule of thumb, for a galvanic cell, we must always get a positive for the cell, right? Uh, that's negative minus a negative, so that becomes a plus 1.18, and that gives us 0 0.91 volts, okay. Please keep that in mind. Uh, once you get a negative here, uh, that means that you've done something wrong. Okay, so please go back and rectify that. So, next one. They say write down the balanced equation for the net cell reaction taking place. All right, we've already done that. You remember? So, this is our balanced equation. Please note with one error. So, that would be manganese plus nickel, two plus. Uh, if you want to, you can write down the phases at which they appear, all right? And in this case, that would give us Mn2 plus, okay, plus nickel, and that is solid, and that is aqueous, okay? Right, so that is our net cell reaction, right? So, the next question, they say to us, um, the concentration uh, of the nickel uh, ions is now increased, right? They say, will the reading on the voltmeter increase, decrease, or remain the same? Ladies and gents, to always check for that, right? Uh, you go to the net cell reaction, right? And you say, look, if you increase the concentration of what's on the left-hand side, that will tend to favor, according to Le Chatelier's principle, because this is a closed system, right? It will tend to favor the forward reaction, right? So if I increase on the left, I, fo I, f I, I uh, will favor what's on the, uh, um, you know, reaction towards the right. And in this case, what happens? It means that my EMF should therefore increase. Anything towards the right makes the EMF increase, towards the left, it would obviously decrease. So um, in this case, my answer should be, uh, sorry, that's uh, 0.5, right? It will definitely 
increase. All right. So I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. And essentially, that's how the cookie crumbles. You would have scored yourself that wonderful 15 marks there uh, just by applying these simple rules. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. I hope that made sense. Shop, shop.